Hey, what is up guys? My name is Stan and in this video, I wanna show you guys how to back up a Mac computer to a, another Mac using Time Machine. Uh, you probably already know Time Machine works to back up your Mac, your laptop, your, your, your iMac or whatever. To, you can do that to an external hard drive or a hard drive attached to a router or even a NAS, but you probably didn't know that you can use another Mac as a destination for Time Machine. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a folder for your Time Machine share. This is where all the files are gonna stay. Uh, I'm just gonna create a folder in my home folder called Mini Time Machine Share. Uh, it could be whatever you want, um, and it really doesn't matter where you put this folder, wherever it is easy for you to uh, you know, keep track of, basically. So from here, all you need to do is you need to go to System Preferences, go under Sharing, and under File Share. So all of these are gonna be unchecked. What you need to do is you need to check File Sharing, and then you can see this is the default share folder for public share folder for, for file sharing. You need to create a brand new folder or actually not create, but you need to add a brand new folder and you need to add, navigate to wherever you want your time machine share folder to be. Uh, the, remember we created this mini time machine share right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add it right here. All right, from here, we're gonna right click this folder and click advanced options and make sure you enable the share as time machine backup destination uh, this is basically the secret sauce to make this all work and you can actually limit the folder size if you want uh, for me it really doesn't matter what the folder size is because i've got a lot of free space on the system i'm just going to give it go ahead and give it seven terabytes worth of storage space and basically, uh, with that done, I can go ahead and close everything. All right, now from here, all we need to do is go to the computer that we wanna set up Time Machine on. Um, and remember, we're backing up this laptop using Time Machine to store all the files on that Mac Mini over there. So uh, the first thing we need to do on this computer is we need to navigate to System Preferences and we need to go down to Time Machine. Now, if you've already selected a backup disk, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to forget the backup disk and then so that you go back to the original setup screen. So select backup disk. And from here, uh, we're gonna choose the SMB share that pops up for me. So right here, this is the mini Time Machine share. If you recall, this is the folder that we created on the Mac mini over there. If forever, for whatever reason, your SMB share does not pop up, what you'll need to do is you need to navigate to that folder. And for me, I can navigate it to the location as down here, um, or actually I could go to network and it's already on the Mac minis on my network. And I can log in and then pull up the folder and then mount the folder that way. See, I can fold up the Mac mini share. And if I double click here, it'll pop up on my desktop. Once on my desktop, then this should populate here as well. So uh, there's just many different ways of getting it on, getting it to show up. So once you do, you just hit use disk and then it will connect you to the Mac mini. Now, what you'll need to do is you'll need to use the login and password of your Mac mini or of your destination computer for my case, the Mac mini, and I'll just use my registered user. Case sensitive, by the way. And there you go. So it's recognized uh, I'm saved, I'm my destination is the Mac Mini to the folder Mac Mini Timeshare, Time Machine Share, sorry, Mini Time Machine Share. And basically, uh, 
the setup is done. If you don't want to wait the 96 seconds, you can always click here and just set uh, backup now and it will initiate the backup procedure. So there's two common issues that would come up if you're unable to get this all to work. The first one is your username and password for your destination computer is not right. Uh, you can either use the option radio button option of using um, iCloud or make sure that you're using the username and password correctly for your destination computer when you log in. Uh, the other issue is if you did not set up the share folder on the destination Mac to enable time machine that remember we check that button. If you don't do that, then it's not going to work at all. So you make sure you have to check that button for that specific share. Lastly, if you're having trouble finding the share to pop up for Time Machine as an option to click, you need to mount that drive, uh, either locating it on the network or connecting it through Finder, specifically connecting to that SMB share so that it's mounted on your hard drive or mounted on your desktop, and then it will pop up as a Time Machine option for location for you to use as a disc. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below and I'll try to answer any questions as they come in. Uh, hopefully I can help you guys get this to work. Anyway, my name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.